see about the structure strips to go in there and see if I have enough to swim. These are a little short and these are a little long so this one. Stick it down in here and just, can you see, if you can see, draw a line to where the structure strip needs to be cut, which is right there. And a lot of times it's good to do it this way because um, you already have the, it's taken up, it's going to change some depending on how you do your box. And so if this is it doesn't really matter. I just like to put all four edges of the box on first and then um, go back and I hope that marked right there. Can't see. I think it did. Let's see. Yep, that fits. Let me find the other one and mark it. I'm just cutting off the I just marked it with a pencil and you can, I mean a pen, and it didn't work on the score tape. So it's kind of hard to see it. So in these two little, I don't know if these will, see these will be good enough to go on the, on the sides of your box to save all these little pieces that are hanging around because they work. Right, so we're going to do these inside out and the same with this one and again pull this off and I'm going to run a bead of glue down this on both sides. I know it's real hard to see where I'm doing with it. But they're on both of these corners, you can see. And we'll run one down sides like that. So I'm going to put this one on here. It's amazing how much strength these little pieces of cardstock give you when you're trying to do something like this. So there's one box, one corner on there. And you want to just Finish it down, make sure it's in that corner, that seam, and that one's in there. So we only have one more right there to do. Let's do the same process. Well, we have some more, but that's the only one right now. And this one. I have a big, gigantic trash can under here that our border collie loves to put her balls and toys inside the trash can and then dig them out. So we have trash. She's part goat, so she eats everything. So I finally got the lid over it, and it's, it's like a laundry thing. But she can't figure out how to get it open now because I have a clamp on it. So it's been one full week without trash on my floor. Well, there's probably trash on my floor, but not because of from that trash. So now I'm putting it in a a basket on top of my uh, desk so I can 
reach it. Okay, so now we have, you can see the inside has everything but the two, the three sides or the four sides into the, in this on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and do it because I think it will make it look more secure. And I have this one that, this one I'm going to pre-measure it and it's going to go about right here. I have to give it a little trim every now and then, see if it works. And find some more structure strips. So this one, I'm going to cut it and then I'll tell you what the measurement is. Although your box may not be the same because we all put them together a little differently. So this piece is going to go right in here in the bottom. You can see, whoops, moved around. It's going to go in the bottom on this side. Just right here. Just on this side, but on the inside. And it's just a hair short. I don't know if it'll fit on the outside better. And it's even shorter on the outside. That's what I get for not measuring right. But it's going to be covered with paper, so it'll probably work. I'm going to see if these two uh, leftover structure strips are going to be long enough just to put right here. If they'll work on this. And I think they will. So while we have this, and I don't have any more cut, and I'd have to go look for them, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put these on all four corners. And them down. Glue in the middle, glue in the middle, and glue on the outside or inside. Whatever. And these are going to be to the inside, so your strips are going to fit right on this. And just butt it up against the bottom of the of the box and push it on. And you can get see that, that one looks a little crooked right there. We're gonna yank it off and straighten it up while we, can, while we still can. So now we have it like so. So then we'll do just do this opposite corner over here from the box and put this one on the same way because it fits. And then I can find some more structure strips and we can finish doing that. going over here to this opposite opposite corner and I'm going to set it down in the crease and get it as straight as I can on this edge, the bottom edge. And fold it. I'm going to put some spore tape on this right quick because we can use those too. I think I want to use three eighths. Yeah. But this is three eighths inch tape. It's a little bit easier to 
handle or to I don't have to use this much glue as I do on that. So there's that one. Burnish that, and again, it's going to go. This is going to go on the inside. This is going to go on the inside. So, I'll crease it, and I'm just going to mark where this would be cut, which is going to be about right here. And cut it. one and these two come on, stand up there. Two some really cute washi tape that we can use on this when we cover it. And make it look really festive. Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to put this one just right in the center and put it on the edge. Burnish it down and then wrap this around here. And it's really crooked. I can't cut straight. <laughs> it's like a bazillion miles off. One reason is because of the way the box is made. It's cut a little shorter on one side, so we have to trim this Oops. to adjust it. That. So there's that and that. And then the other one, just the same way. there's a little edge that it needs to kind of go on. I'm going to just burnish it on here. And this. And there. I'm going to let this dry a minute. It's a little, you can see on the inside, see this is sticking up. And I'll need to trim it, but I, I want it to just sit there for a few minutes. And uh, since I have, I, don't, I even have these small ones like this, and 
pieces like this and I don't throw them away because we use so many of them in little corners like that. And you can piece them if you want to. It's okay to do that. So let me get a structure strip. I think that would be here. I need one, two, three, four. Oops. Oops. I'll just bring this over here. That way it'll be easier us to see. I have some that are already have score tape on and I'm just going to see if those fit. Do the score tape route tonight. I'm going to be teaching a class in Lamarck, Texas. Saturday at Crop and Bug. It's going to be the photo flip album. So we want to see. These are all like they're going to be too short on this side. But let me see. Yep. But I'm going to put it on the short side. Then I can just cut it right here, and that will give me a little bit of use of those two anyway, before I have to tape. Tape is going to go to the outside. Because it's going to be inside the box. you. Same with this one. And I'm going to run a little bit of glue down in here. And the same on the other side. We're going to do all four sides on the bottom with structure strips. I don't think it's quite as important that you have um, that you use the glue stick on this because you're going to have it outside. You can lift it up easier than if you're trying to get it uh, pulled off of chipboard. This is just going to be kind of sitting on the outside. So again, it's like this, and we're going to hope that I measured right. Which almost looks like I didn't. 
such a mess when it sticks down there. I'm going to cut a little sliver off of here. Let's see if that'll work. That's why you're pre-cut, because you don't have to do this mess. And uh, there. So it fit down in there. And I'm just going to press this down. Do the glue. So now we have that side on, and the only one I have to do on this is this one right here. That I, and I'm going to make sure that I got it right, because I think I'm going to have to trim it just a hair. I'd rather trim it now than when I'm trying to wrestle with all this tape. And most of these strips are 65 pound to 80 pound cardstock, um, some are not, I, I think all of them are 65, some of them are 80, a few are 80, I'm starting to use the 80 a little bit more, you just don't want it too thick on here. So again, this goes, whoa, where are you camera, this goes to the outside. And we're going to stick it down on the, sh this goes on the short side, and we just kind of are going to have to feel down in there where it goes. So, now you can see we have, only need to do the two sides of that box. And it will be, and this needs to be about six and a fourth each. So we cut those. We cut lots of structure strips. When we cut um, paper for albums, we use the the leftover stuff for the structure strips and score them on the laser, and then. All I have to do is add some tape. That makes it much easier. So it's kind of like when you have time, you I score or he scores, but I I don't usually put tape on it until we really need it because I try not to put too much on there to waste it. So we need it at six and a fourth. So right here, I hope. I like this ruler, but I don't like, it's hard to tell where six and a fourth is on this, or I'm ruler challenged, probably. And, there we go. So again, I'm going to put the score tape on it. This is 5 eighths. This is wider than I thought. And I have seen people just do structure strips with um, just glue, and you can. I'm sure it's going to hold okay. It's just you get comfortable with with one thing and. Uh, I, I can tell you the, the one thing that we know for sure is that craft text and score tape are not friends. It'll stay for a while and then it crawls up and then you have a bigger mess because you probably put your album together with the score tape on the spine and it's going to just eventually loosen up and you have big bumps and gaps and you just so might as well take it off and do it over because you'll have to eventually. So. I'm going to burnish this. On this. This on this. And Table. 
I'm really using very little glue. It's just enough. I didn't put glue on this. Let me put glue down here on these edges right here. you just stick your hand down in there and pull it out and then you get glue all over you so I've pushed it it's down in there you can kind of feel it when it gets into that groove this in half right here and see if I have it right. This one seems better. Maybe I was paying attention more. Blue is. about the way this is. this one looks down here but I guess it's okay. Looks kind of crooked. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it up. It looks really weird. like that, it usually means it's not cut straight or short enough by the right length. And I really don't care if it's a little bit too short. It'll be okay. Nobody's going to see it because it's going to be covered with paper. Alright, so we See, that's crooked too, right there. That looks better. Alright. So I'm going to stick it down in that crease. can't really tell because it's dark, but it's lopsided on one side, and it's a little bit short on one side, but it's, it's going to be okay, because the black is already over on that, so... Get the 
edges all down. Okay, so now we have the inside of the box and the outside. And this, uh, we can put tape on this. I think I would just paint it because this is not going to fall apart. We have these, we have this one, which is the structure, main structure of it. And we have all four edges of the box top done. So we can just slip the box on. This is the box. Um, I may go back and add, excuse me, add some more structure strips. Excuse me, just to this, these three sides, just to finish it off and make it equal. I doubt that I do them on this because it looks pretty good like this. And uh, I'll just paint it with some black paint or with a Sharpie and it'll cover. I'm cutting the little edges that are sticking up a little too high for it to fit on here. So. Now, I, I'll show you if probably before I start to cover, I don't know. But I either I'm going to do this or I'm going to just paint this black so that it'll all have a black edge onto where it's covered, um, which may be what I'll do. And then, oh, this is the some of the washi tape that I have. It's little bees. And this says Merry Christmas and Joy and what that says. And this is his belt, which I think is cute. And these, of course, are reindeer, since reindeer are big this year. And I think this may be just about wide enough to fit along the edge of that, but we'll see how that goes. So, and then now I have, these are the three of the, I mean, four, one, two, three, four of the six tabs that I use, and I'm using the six by six um, paper to do it. And I'll show you how to cover those right quick, and then that'll be it for tonight. And all these little structure strips. save, put them up so I can use them later. I like to make little boxes and uh, so I use them a lot in the in the boxes. <coughs> okay, so I had just started. I've covered all six tabs and these are some of the some of the scraps. Oh, here's the rest of them. The rest of the scraps. I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'm thinking about just gluing them together in a random order and just die cutting a tree to go around the edge of the box because it's, it's just cute with all the different paper all layered together. So this is what I have. I have the three and I think we're starting over, so then it'll be one, two, three. So you can see what it looks like. And I have um, two more to go. So I have just used this a single sided, the six by six paper. So I just take my uh, ATG paper gun and run it around 
the edges of this, getting it real close to the edge. Oops, not that close. And then just on the tab. I usually put a little glue on the tab and go from side to side and around. I like to have lots of glue on there. Just and then push all your little glue boogers back into the thing so that they won't cut. Hurt. So this one is just going to go, this is going to go face down because you want it to go up uh, on the thing and just place it right on the edge, one edge, and then it'll match up on the other, all three, and push it down like this, and then I will burnish it if I could find it again, because I think it's to put it in the thing, so I want to take it with me tomorrow. I don't know. Oh well, we'll just do this. We'll just burnish it with this little ruler, roller, something. It's been a long day. So I'm going to take my, I still use this little funky X-Acto knife, but I like it. And always put a sharp blade in when you're going to do this. A new one to get. And I'm cutting on a glass mat. i just done it for so long. I, I like to do it on a glass mat. Makes your blades last longer or so, I think. And just cut around this. Cut here. Around your corner. And... Just up a little piece right there, and we'll see if this comes loose. And it has one little piece right here that does not want to come loose. did that and then um, I was going to sand it. I have this but I'm not real crazy about this. But you can just go around the edges of it and maybe I don't know how to use it. Maybe that's why it's from it and if you really have a really sharp knife you probably won't have to sand much except on some of the corners Probably will go back and ink it all together once I start doing the, the entire recipe book. Okay, so this is number five. So we have one, three, three, four, five, and this is 
number six. And I don't think I sanded this side, so I'm going to try to get it straight before I work on the other side. And another thing, if you're going to use a glass mat, you probably want to go over it with baby wipes before you start cutting again, because it just builds up. Sometimes the glue gets all over everything because I'm messy, but then it takes all that gunk off, and it makes it much easier to work with. that off and this one is done and it looks really pretty good for it so for this holiday kit we're going to have three things you're going to have this you're going to have a 5x7 and a 4x6 mini album that are together and then you're going to have the mini photo flip. So you get three mini albums in one. And this is the oops, this is the paper that we're starting with and depending on how many we have left from this one, I'll do another one. It's just maybe different papers that you'll have to adjust the papers and you can do them the way you want to if we don't pre-cut them. Sometimes we pre-cut them because it takes a lot less time. So this is number six. So these are your six albums or albums tabs. I like this paper right here and then these are the backs. So it will go Oops, into your box. And you'll have plenty of room. Come on, up. You can see down in there that you still have plenty of room if you want to do some tall things to put it in. And whatever you choose to label. And I think that's it. Next time I'll have the, we'll do some covering and I'll have the other structure strips on. Thanks.